Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back. Today, we are uh, going to talk about fluid mechanics and specifically about surface tension and capillarity. Before we move forward, as always, I want to remind uh, everyone with an engineering degree uh, from outside of the United States, if you are interested in evaluating your education in this country and you need a little bit of help, I have put together a PDF guide with step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. Just click the link below this video and you'll be able to download the guide for free. Now let's move on with our example. A glass slide is in contact with a water surface along one of its sides as shown below. What is the magnitude of the force required to overcome surface tension as the slide is lifted from the water surface? The surface tension of water at 20 degrees Celsius is 0.073 newtons over meters. The dimensions of the plate are 12 by 5 by 002 centimeter. So the problem is asking us to calculate the force required to overcome surface tension. Let's say you don't know how to solve this problem. I would go to the FE handbook and let's do a search for surface tension. And voila, it gets us straight to the formula. And surface tension is the force per unit contact length equals to the force over the length of interface. So let's write this formula down. Now we are asked to calculate the force. Therefore, the force will be equal to surface tension times L. Let's see which is our L. So the L, in our case, it's going to be equal actually to the perimeter of the uh, bottom of this glass slide. Just remember that sometimes people confuse it with the area. It's not the area, it's actually the perimeter. So our L is going to equal to the perimeter, and it's equal to 12 times 2 plus 0 0.02 times 2. Equals to 24. Zero 04, and that's centimeters. And let's transform this into meters. That's going to be 0 0.2404 meters. And now let's come back here and calculate the force. It's going to be just go down here. going to be 0 0.073 newtons over meter times our perimeter, which is 0 0.2404 meters equals to 0 0.0175 newtons. And it's C. Let's move forward with another problem. A glass capillary tube diameter one millimeter is inserted into an open reservoir of a liquid. The surface tension of the liquid is 85 dynes per centimeter and density of the liquid is 10,000 kilograms per meter cube. The insert diagram shows a magnified view of the liquid inside the tube. Which of the following is true? Liquid rises two millimeters in the tube, falls two millimeters, or rises four millimeters, or falls four millimeters. Let's go back to our FE handbook and find the formula for the capillary tube. And if you've noticed, it is right here next to the surface tension. Capillary rise, age equals to four times 
surface tension times cost of the angle made by the liquid with the wetted tube wall over the specific weight of the liquid times the diameter of the capillary tube. Let's write this formula down and see if we have everything we need to solve this problem. This equals to four times surface tension. Let's talk about what is the cosine of uh, beta. The beta is based on the FE handbook. Is the angle made by the liquid with the wetted tube wall. So going back here, we notice even though we're given this angle here, which might uh, confuse you, you have to remember that beta is actually the angle made by the liquid with the wetted wall, which in our case, beta is going to equal to 180 minus 55, and I have 125 degrees. So cos beta and gamma water or gamma liquid, it's, got, it's uh, equal to the rho of the liquid times G times D, the diameter. Let's go and uh, talk about each component and transform it into one type of unit we want to work with. Surface tension equals to 85 dynes over centimeters. Let's transform this into newtons per meter. Now, I'm not sure if you know, and I checked the FE handbook, the FE handbook is not giving the dying units, but I did leave it here because I found this problem in a uh, FE prep book. So I thought, let why not, let's talk about it. So one dying equals to 10 to minus five Newtons. Let's also transform centimeters into meters. One meter equals to 100 centimeters so centimeters will go away time will go away so we are going to have 85 times 10 to minus 3 newtons over a meter now we have diameter is given as one millimeters and that equals to 0 0.001 meter. What else do we have? Cosine of beta is, we've talked about it, is this angle here. We have the density of the liquid given in kilograms over meter cubes. The gravity, acceleration gravity equals to uh, 981. Let's write this down. Equals to 981 meters over second squared and then diameter we're talking about it okay let's calculate the height of the uh, liquid that is going to rise or fall into the tube so we're going to have four times 85 times 10 to minus 3 newtons over meter times cosine is 125 over density of the liquid is 10,000 kilograms over meter cube times 981 times di diameter, which is 0 0.001 meters, resulting 8 equal to. Let's see. So 125 cosine four times 85 times J. Now at the bottom we have 10,981 multiplied 0 0.001 multiplied divided. 1.9 times 10 to minus 3 meters 
that equals to, we have to transform this into millimeters based on our responses. So if we want to transform this into um, millimeters, we have to multiply by a thousand, which will mean all this equals to 1.9 millimeters, which is almost to two millimeters. And the sign, the negative, means that the liquid falls two millimeters in the tube. So the answer is B. That was it for today. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like it and subscribe. This helps people like you uh, find me. If you have questions about this video or any other video of mine, don't forget to leave a comment or a question in the comment below. Keep up the good work on practicing the FE problems and I will see you next week.